Hi, I'm Sassafras. This is Sirius. Welcome back to the Introvert Circus. Today, we are going to talk about one of my absolute favorite grooming supplies, and that is Cheese Whiz. Oh my goodness. Is it your favorite thing? <gasps> are we going to do nails? Yeah! Is it time for cheeses? <gasps> cheeses, yummy! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Cheese Whiz is my go-to product that I use all the time for things that are like not my dog's otherwise favorite activities historically. This builds value, tremendous value in doing those things. Hair Cheese Whiz with cooperative care style grooming activities. So dremeling nails, that kind of thing. No force involved. She's choosing to participate and her reward for getting to participate is if she lays there, she just gets to eat as much cheese whiz as she wants and I get to dremel all of her nails. So I use this stuff all the time for that activity and I absolutely love it. It makes the experience really, really fun for her. It means that she's gonna choose to engage in grooming. Let me offer her feet so that I can dremel them and it's good to go. So I really, really recommend if you have a dog who you know is nervous in like grooming situations or at vets, that kind of thing, really using like licky mats. Um, you can use expensive ones. I use just this simple silicone. It's actually a Frisbee um, that was gifted to us at one point. It's, she doesn't play Frisbee, it's too small really for that, but it works really, really well. I throw it in the dishwasher top rack when we're done with it, but it sticks to the floor so that she can just lick at cheese. I like to put it in the corners while I'm grooming. I know. You can lick my finger. That's a good girl. So exciting. So we have Cheese Whiz, let's Cheese Whiz. I have our Dremel. This is actually a new one that was recently sent to us. I really, really like it. And so I'm going to give her Cheese Whiz and I'm just gonna get started on doing some nails. You are done, good girl. Yeah. I know, we finished all your feet. Look how nice your feetsies look. So it's a little bit messy. We kind of get cheese whiz everywhere, but it is, you lick this for me? Thank you. It is totally worth it for her to just lay here happily while I get to dremel, dremel all her toesies. Yeah. I know, do you have, have like bits of cheese whiz like in you oh my goodness oh my goodness good girl i hope that you enjoyed today's video get it, burp getting a look behind the scenes of how we approach grooming she's now going to lick cheese whiz off of herself for probably the next 10 minutes um this is one of my favorite little tricks to use cheese whiz it's really great it's a little bit hard to find right now um, I think there might be, it's one of those products that there's kind of a little bit shortage of. So when I see it, I buy it. Um, but I hope this was fun. I'd gotten some questions from my 
dog closet tour um, and I had mentioned I had Cheese Whiz in there. People were like, what are you doing with Cheese Whiz? So I definitely wanted to make a little video explaining how we use it. It's so helpful just to have, again, in any of those kinds of settings and can really, you know, that your dog might be stressed about, the vet, the groomer, any of those things. And I like to introduce it before my dog ever even has a chance to be stressed. So we just build those positive associations. And that's the way that I use it with the Dremel series. Um, has never known dremeling as anything that exists without cheese whiz on a platter. And so she's very happy just to chill out here while I do her nails. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And we will see you in another Vlogmas video tomorrow.